Minibies. How are you today? <clears throat> um, I just wanted to touch base with you and I don't normally show you whips, but I thought maybe I'd show you one. Uh, <clears throat> I have a couple of FOs and <clears throat> I have other whips that I'm not going to show you because they're part of a tutorial that I am working on that is going to take me forever <sighs> because I'm using smaller yarn which is something I don't do so I go and I work on it and then I put it away for a while because I'm just like mm. um <clears throat> but yeah <laughs> anyway okay so I wanted to show you this you guys probably saw on my Instagram did I put it on Instagram I think I put it on Instagram and my Facebook page so boink <laughs> isn't that cute it's a little octopus look at those eyes the glittery eyes um <clears throat> excuse me I had a lot of fun doing this I got this yarn from the dollar store and I was really surprised that I liked working with it oh Bailey's just having a mood <clears throat> um I was really surprised that I liked working with it it's kind of like blanket yarn um but it's a thinner blanket yarn. So I might have to go get some more. Just saying. Because this is really cute. This doesn't take any time at all. And it's quick, like quick and easy. And I thought, well, maybe I'll make up some for craft fairs. I've never done that before. I don't normally sell amigurumi stuff at craft fairs because I don't do it very often. But these are easy enough that I think maybe I can. <clears throat> so this pattern is from Hopeful Turns. I will leave their link down below. And I mean, there's it's so cute. I mean, look at that little. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, I may have to. I, I'm thinking about getting um, some other yarn like this somewhere else like michael's or something but i don't know it's almost like that it's kind of cross between blanket yarn and pipsqueak yarn like it's a it's a i don't know i can't i can't describe it but um yeah i may have to check out i want to do a video doing a dollar store hop right we've got a few dollar stores in Nanaimo quite a few more uh than I would expect but, <laughs> but I was thinking about doing a dollar store hop where I go to each dollar store and kind of show you guys what they've got or don't have or you know stuff like that <clears throat> so yeah I might do that so anyways that's that one This one I'm very proud of. I have to say, I've never crocheted cables before. They've always intimidated the crap out of me. Uh, this, <clears throat> this isn't, I don't think that this is, this stitch is like the typical cables. I mean, what do I know? I don't do them, but uh, I just, this is a Simone, uh, Simona crochets pattern. I will leave her link down below. I'm thinking I'm going to have to put her link in my description box permanently because all the sweater, baby sweaters I do are hers for the most part. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying her website or her channel. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so here it is. 
Oh, it's nighttime here right now, so it's kind of hard to show this. But there's the cables here all the way up the sides. But look at this. This is the sleeve, and the cable goes right up the sleeve. Isn't that cute? It's so unique. I just love it. And then the back has a couple rows of cables. But isn't that adorable? I just absolutely love this. And the cables were so easy to do and understand that I am going to have to do a grown-up sweater <laughs> with this. <laughs> so here's the hood. This part of the hood is my design. Um, she doesn't do this with hers. But look, it, the cables go from the bottom all the way up. Isn't that cool? I just love the way this turned out. Um, I put little buttons on it. I just love these little things, little buttons. Um, the tassels I did with a Lucette fork. There's a link down below um, for an Amazon Lucette fork. And also, <clears throat> excuse me, if you click on any of my furls links down below, it doesn't matter which one you click on, and you go to the website and you go to accessories, I think. Anyways, on their on their website, there is a loose set fork on there as well. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, loose set forks make this process so easy. And I just love the way it looks. It's just, it looks braided, right? I just, I absolutely love this. I hated, <clears throat> excuse me, making tassels. Uh, and, and um, strings. This, I can just sit there and do it while I'm watching TV and it takes no time at all. It is well worth, if you make stuff like this or you make um, hats or, or clothing that have a tassel on them um, or string on them, it is worth its weight in gold getting a Lucette fork. I'll tell you that right now. Right. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I also put these, um, I forget what these are called. <laughs> I forget what they're called. Anyways, I get these on Amazon. Um, I'll see if I can put a link in my, if you go into my description box down Towards the bottom, there is a um, a link for all of my Amazon uh, favorites. And I've got the Canadian version and the U.S. version to that. Um, so I will find the link for these for Canadian and for U.S. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and then you can go and if you want to get, because they're, they're so easy. I have to glue these first, but see, you just put your, oh, you put your string in there, right? You pull it through, you not put a knot in it, and then you put the little cap on. And I suggest gluing, like putting some glue inside and then putting the cap on. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to have to do with these. But it just, it makes it look so much more professional. <laughs> I am so not professional. So I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. So I just love this. So this is about a three-month size. Zero to three months. <clears throat> so I'm definitely going to be making more of those. And then this one is half um Simona's crochet and half me so let's see. I'm not finished excuse me this is my whip 
I'm not finished it yet. So here we go. So the yoke is Simona's crochet. <clears throat> Excuse me. The rest of it is me. Okay, and it's the waffle stitch. Now, um, January, February, March, so the end of this month, it's all, I, I don't know if you remember the video that I did not too long ago where I'm saying every three months I'm going to be doing new stitches. So January, February, March was the Jacob's Ladder, and I <clears throat> did a tutorial on the Jacob's Ladder. I did a project tutorial on the Jacob's Ladder. Um, and so I was making things with Jacob's Ladder for that three months. April, May, June is going to be the waffle stitch. So I'm starting to make stuff with the waffle stitch already. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's that. And it's the waffle stitch goes all the way around. And then it's just your basic sleeve. And then the hoodie. Again, this is my design of the hoodie and then oh, I've got my little tassel things on the bottom <clears throat> so yeah so that's that one so this one is zero to three months as well I think yeah <clears throat> so so I just have to finish this sleeve off and then I'm done the whole thing I've been, I'm working on that this evening so this is the Vivid Yarn, the um, Premier Sweet Roll, Sweet Roll? Yeah, Sweet Roll Vivid in Dragonfly, I believe it is. <clears throat> and this yarn is, doo -doo -doo, what is this yarn? Uh, it's Sweet Roll, oh, what is it? Hang on. Ugh. Sweet roll frosty. <laughs> Sweet roll, whoops. <laughs> Sweet roll frosty. Um, in the color, it's a four weight. It's the color is iced coffee. <clears throat> so I think they still make this. <clears throat> So yeah, so I'm so happy with these. I'm, I'm getting my stock ready for next year. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. But I'm definitely going to be making more of all of them. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, <clears throat> so I'm uh, not feeling much better. This, this thing's really bugging me. <clears throat> so, yeah. But I will survive. I will make it work. Um, yeah, I've, I've tried hot. It seems like when I drink cold, my throat constricts even more. <clears throat> so, lots of coffee, lots of tea. Ugh. And, uh. We'll just play it by ear, see how it goes. I've been on my new medication for a couple days now. It might be helping my stomach, but it's not doing anything for my throat. <clears throat> so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to stress over it. <clears throat> I just have to try and keep really calm when it gets to the point where it's like really choking me. And just breathe through it or something. I don't know. <clears throat> so, anyways. I love you all. And I guess I will chat with you later. When I have more to tell you. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, I know what I was going to say. Uh, so, George is out of town right now working. And so, I'm sitting here all alone. So, what am I doing? I'm watching videos. I'm going to give out a shout out 
I've given her a shout out before, but man, I got to give her another shout out. Carmen and Neil from Kitten Mittens. <laughs> if you don't get offended easily, then, yeah, well, even if you do, she's a great one to watch. But I, <laughs> oh. her last live, Neil made an appearance. And I tell you, I laughed so hard. That, that guy, uh, Neil has autism. And he's a blessing. That, that, that video couldn't have come out a better time for me because I really need the laughs right now. And, uh, <laughs> he just, you, you can't control the things that comes out of his mouth. So Carmen's kind of like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Stop it. And it's alive, right? So it's not like you can just say, hey, let's cut that out. So <laughs> another reason why I don't do lives. <laughs> so, oh man, like the, the way the two of them talk to each other, like communicate to each other, it's, it's hilarious. I enjoy watching them so much because it just, it breaks up the monotony. It, it brings you joy because <laughs> you just, you got to go and, and watch. Um, I'll leave her link down below. Uh, she is so funny and he is just, I, I was belly laughing, right? I mean, I'm sitting there trying to count the stitches for here so that I don't accidentally decrease. Um, I, I ended up having to put it down because the things like the conversation that she was having on her own about cucumbers, <laughs> just made me laugh so hard and I, I could not keep count that not for my life and then Neil came in and he started talking and I just I went that's it put my crochet down and just drink my coffee and watch and I just it was so funny like the things that 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 man talks about is just Neil I love you. You are awesome. Thank you so much for taking me to a different place. Um, it's been a rough few days and you made me laugh till I cried. Like it, you are a blessing. You really are. And I'm just, I'm sending you hugs and mwah, mwah, mwah. I just, I love you to bits. <laughs> I love you to bits. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave their link down below. Go check them out. Um, <laughs> cause they're, they're great. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. Love you all. Bye.